Hi, I'm Jerice Colon, CEO of the U.S. Center for Safe Sport. You may be aware of the changes that were recently made to Title IX regulations. Title IX is a law that protects people from sex-based discrimination in education programs or activities that receive federal funds. All public education institutions and most private institutions must abide by Title IX because they receive federal funding through federal financial aid programs. And while there are many components to Title IX, today I want to highlight some of the important differences between Title IX and the Safe Sport Code. The U.S. Center for Safe Sport is federally authorized as the official Safe Sport organization for all Olympic, Paralympic, Pan American, and Para Pan American sports in the United States. And the Safe Sport Code are policies designed to protect those involved in amateur athletics from all forms of abuse. While Title IX applies to certain educational institutions, the Safe Sport Code governs athletes and other participants within the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic movement, which includes the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic Committee, national governing bodies, high performance management organizations, and local affiliated organizations. Both the Safe Sport Code and Title IX carefully detail the types of prohibited behavior, including emotional, physical, and sexual abuse and misconduct. The U.S. Center for Safe Sport investigates and issues decisions on Safe Sport Code violations committed by participants within the U.S. Olympic and Paralympic movement. Under Title IX, schools can respond to violations only if the accused is a student or employee of the institution. This is just a snapshot of the differences between the Safe Sport Code and Title IX regulations. I encourage you to visit our website, uscenterforsafesport.org, to learn more about the differences between the Safe Sport Code and Title IX regulations. Thank you.